Hey guys, this is Carlito bringing you a Photoshop and Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we will make still photos turn into a moving video. Now a good photo is a photo with a nice and clear foreground and background. Any obstructions to the foreground will make the editing process a lot longer. First we will select the polygonal lasso tool. Start by setting the points around the foreground until the last point touches the first point. If you happen to make a mistake and click somewhere that you didn't need to click, you just need to press backspace or the delete button and you will be fine. Now here I just completed setting points around the foreground image, and now you can see that the foreground is selected. After making the selection around the foreground image, select Edit, and in the drop-down menu, click Copy, and then paste the foreground into a new layer by clicking on Paste. Next, select Layer, Reselect, and now the foreground area should be selected again. Now we will remove the foreground image from the background. Select Edit, then Fill. Make sure the contents bar is selected to content aware and then press OK. Photoshop will automatically fill in the foreground area by using the area around the selected area as reference. We can see parts of the foreground image in the background so we will now remove it by using the healing brush tool and the spot healing brush tool. Use the healing brush tool on the foreground lines. Clean up the ripples and blemishes using the spot healing brush tool and you will end up with a smoother background image. Next, we will refine the edges on the foreground image so that none of the background is stuck on the corners of the image. What I did here was, I selected the quick selection tool and selected the entire foreground image. After making the selection, click on refine edge and you'll see a menu pop up. Make sure smart radius is selected and start off by using the smaller radius. Play around with smooth, feather, and shift edge. I like to have shift edge at about negative 20%. Depending on the photo and how well you cropped it, that will affect how much you need to shift the edge or increase the radius. After making the edits, click OK. Make sure that the foreground image is selected and the only visible layer, and then save the foreground image as a PNG file. background image, we will save it as a JPEG image. After saving the photos, we can now move on to creating the video using Premiere Pro. Now that we are in Premiere Pro, make sure the background image is on the base layer and place the foreground image in the next higher layer. For this shot, I went for about 10 seconds of footage.
Here, I started with the foreground image and then set the keyframes in scale and position. Make the image slightly larger at about 110% and at the end of the video, make another keyframe in both scale and in position and make the image even larger at around 115%. Play around with the positions and make the image go from one corner to the other corner. Next, we will edit the background image and set only a position keyframe and make the scale slightly larger at about 110%. Place a position keyframe at the end of the video and then adjust the keyframe so that the image goes from one corner to the other. I hope this video was helpful and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.